Okay guys, so in 8th grade social studies today we are starting a project. And I don't want you to be intimidated by the P word. Please do not run screaming away from this. I promise it's going to be totally tolerable, okay? So what we're going to be doing is we are going to be spending the next four days going over um, the American Revolution trading cards assignment. And what ha what is going to happen here, guys, is I have created an assignment for you that is a bunch of little assignments, okay? Um, you are going to be completing a small step in the um, assignment every day. So I don't want you to be scared or worried because I've broken it down over four days to help you, okay? It's not to hurt you, it's to help you, I promise. So, let's take a look at the instructions for our project together. The American Revolution Trading Cards Project. Once the picture loads, we'll go ahead and read it. Our objective, to research and create trading cards for an important person from both the American and British side of the Revolutionary War. You're going to create two cards about two real people from opposing sides. Our task, our mission, should we choose to accept it, and of course we're going to, is to complete the following items. The first thing you need to do, guys, is we need to take a look at our um, note sheets. The note sheets are going to be what you're going to be completing for the next two days in my class. There's one for each day. Okay, and this is important to me because it's teaching us the practice of note taking. And that is something that is so important, guys. It's something we really need to take seriously when considering social studies class because it helps us see what items are important and how we need to adapt to that, okay? So let's take a look at the day one planning sheet in a moment. I'll pull that up to help us. Awesome, it's loaded. So you're going to be completing a note sheet for each day. If we look at step two here, um, you have one person from the each side of the war to research. So you, my friends, are going to be researching one American person and one British person from the war, okay? I'm also going to pull that up so we can explain our process even further. Going back to our main page here, guys. Um, we have to fill out our planning sheet with the information requested. So like I said, the first two days we are going to be working on researching and compiling notes for our people that we need to research. And you're going to have to be sure to include a work cited for the websites or sources where you got your information. Don't worry guys, I have created a source document for you where you already have all the websites that you need to look at. How sweet's that, right? So, you also need to know that you are going to either be hand making your cards or using PowerPoint or Google Slides. If that is unfamiliar to you, you need to contact me today. And I will help you with that, okay? This is something that we truly cannot put off because it is vital and this is a skill that we're going to need in high school next year, okay? So, we have to use our planning sheets, which we're going to work on, to type information and create trading cards. These trading cards are going to be in the form of a PowerPoint slide, okay? And you'll need to include the following information on these cards. Um, and that's located coming up soon. If you hand make the cards, scan them into the Dropbox or use PowerPoint. And then don't forget to attach a picture of the person as well. Here is the assignment schedule. Guys, I always write these out for us, so make sure that you follow the schedule. Because it might seem a little intimidating or scary, but it's not that bad if we follow the steps and directions. So reading and listening carefully, guys, I cannot stress that enough. If you don't listen or follow directions, it might really hurt you here. So it's important to listen to this video, follow my directions, and also ask me questions if you don't understand something, okay guys? So for day one, we're deciding who we are researching. And let me pull that up for us real quick. One moment. There we go. That looks a little clearer now, doesn't it?
So taking a look at that, here's what we've got here, okay? You have the choice of, of um, well, you don't have the choice. I've assigned King George III and George Washington to be who you are researching for this project. I chose these two guys because I figured it would be the easiest, they're not that hard to find information on, and they're pretty key players because King George III was the king at the time of the revolution and we can't forget George Washington. He is such a big deal he ends up being our president. So for day one you are looking at your notes sheet which is present here. So for your revolution character one you'd put George Washington's name in the blank and you'd research him so you could answer all these questions. So you're gonna tell me what side of the war he's on, what he looks like, how you describe his personality, as well as his traits and accomplishments, his, the important feelings and emotions he has about war, and that's it. So you're gonna answer those questions on both George Washington and also King George the third, okay? So once you've done both of those, that's your notes page for the day. And you're going to submit that to me in the Dropbox for today's lesson. So that's our day one portion. For day two, you're completing a notes page that's also very similar. Let's take a look at that day two notes page together real quick. On the day two notes page, you'll see that the structure is extremely similar to that of the day one notes page, but you're answering some different questions. Now, you might be wondering, okay, I have a sheet I need to fill out. Where am I going to get the information from, Mrs. Devlin? That's a little confusing. Well, good news, guys. If you have to take a look at task two here, there is a research help page. And on that research help page, I have provided good websites for you. Remember, you are researching. Once it loads, of course, you are researching George Washington and King George III. So I've given you three good websites that'll work like a dream for you. What you need to do is take a look at these and answer the questions on the um, Google document. We are working on taking effective notes today and tomorrow, okay? So if we jump back to our assignment, let's look at day three here. For day three, you're finishing your notes pages. You'll be taking notes on your overall impressions of the people you have researched. So after you've taken notes on the last questions, you're going to continue to kind of plan and draft your trading cards. You're going to use PowerPoint, Google Slide, or Google Slides to construct your cards. So remember, we're using PowerPoint or Google Slides, not Read Write Think. And you need to include the following in your trading cards. One is a description. So tell me a little bit about them. Two, important traits and accomplishments. Three, the role in the revolution. Four, most important role or actions. And five, personal impressions. Guess what, guys? These are all things that you will have already taken notes on if you follow the specified directions for the project. So if you've already taken the notes, all you're doing for days three and four are putting the pieces together, okay? It's so important that it's not going to be that bad, I promise. Okay, and then on day four, you're submitting your assignment. I wanted to also go over the rubric before I finish this prog project description. Now this might seem like a lot of points, guys, but remember, this is happening over four separate days in social studies. So on day one, you'll receive 10 points for turning in a completed notes page. This means you've given me notes that are to the point, that make sense, and that I understand. So as long as it hits all three of those criteria, guess what? 10 easy points. Not too shabby. For day two, same thing. A coherent notes page that I understand, another 10 points. For day three, there's a smaller five-point notes page. Um, <clears throat> For day four, you're going to receive a little higher of a score. So, 
on the American card and on the Revolutionary card, you're going to get scored in the exact same manner. For date, you're going to get five points for a picture used to represent the person. You're going to get five points for including a description. You'll get five points for their traits and accomplishments. Five points for their most important role in the revolution. Five points for a personal impression, so what you, my friends, think about them. And then ten points for spelling, grammar, and complete sentences. So this is all about taking the notes that you've already created and making them into a trading card. Okay? So let's go back to the lesson for today and kind of finish things up here. So we've gone ahead and listened to this assignment. What you need to do for the rest of the day is you need to personally review the project guidelines to make sure you understand them and to make sure everything makes sense to you. That's really important to me, guys. Don't let um, too much time go by if you don't understand something, okay? Because I want you to do well here, guys. I do, I promise. So once you've done that, if you have any questions from there, shoot me a message. But today you are using that resource page to complete the notes page for today. Okay? And projects take a little bit of time. So don't stress if they take a little bit, but you can get this done. Okay? So, um, once you've done that, you're all finished and you'll be all set. Remember, the due date for the project is coming up shortly. It'll be due four days from now on October 26th. You got this.